Hi, Jamie Reed, GitLab CSM Manager, here with a brief overview of the dependency scanning rewriter. This is a simple Golang module or a script that I wrote to satisfy a couple of different customers' requests or requirements to modify the output of GitLab's dependency scanning to suit several different business requirements. And the one I want to focus on today is the minimum CDSS score for critical. Uh, I heard from at least one customer that they had a desire to adjust a vulnerability's severity based on criteria that they define. Specifically, they wanted to only consider vulnerabilities as critical if they had a CDSS base score of greater than X. You can see in our docs that we typically align to the industry standard definition of critical severity vulns being ones with a base score of nine or higher in the CDSS 3.1 vectors. Um, but for example, maybe I wish to reduce the number of critical vulnerabilities that, uh, that my team is asked to triage, and I only want to consider something like a 9.5 or a 9.8 as something that demands critical, and I wanted to lump other formerly criticals with lower than, say, 9.8 uh, base scores into the high severity uh, triage pile. This would help me focus you know, my limited resources on only the most severe vulnerabilities uh, and maybe help me overcome hopefully a short-term resource crunch. So to see this in action, let me show you a simple Python project. Uh, right here, we've got a Hello World Python app that happens to pull in some known vulnerable versions of Flask and Django. And within that pipeline definition here, I'm pulling in GitLab's templates for build and security scanning, but I'm overriding the dependency scanning job definition. And most critically here, I'm installing and then invoking this dependency scanning rewriter module to modify the JSON file that dependency scanning creates prior to its ingestion by the GitLab platform. Now, this is shown in the context of a project, but note that with GitLab 17.0's pipeline execution policies, you could create the same type of job override or job definition override here for dependency scanning as a policy that uh, you apply to the group, subgroup, or project level. So you can use our pipeline execution policies to, to accomplish something very similar here. I've got sample projects, not just for Python, but for other common languages like uh, a Java Maven project, a Node.js or JavaScript project uh, as well that I'll share links to. But let's take a look at a completed pipeline to understand what's happening here. So this is a, a look at specifically the dependency scanning job within that Python example project. So dependency scanning has run by this point in the job log and that script is being invoked here at line 1071. And what's happening here is this is going to ingest or parse the, um, the JSON artifact created by the, the gymnasium dependency scanner. And it's gonna look to see, okay, I see that within a CICD variable, we've set the minimum CVSS score for this particular project as 9.9. .9. So any critical vulnerabilities discovered by dependency scanning with a base score below 9.9 .9 are actually gonna get re-rated down to high. And we can see here that this uh, quickly runs into a critical vuln that has a calculated base score of only 9.8. And that gets re-rated down to high. And we can see that take effect in the vulnerability report for this project. So one of these discovered vulnerabilities that are in this pile of highs um, was formally critical. And it's this one right here, CBE 2023-31047. So the script has also modified the, the vulnerabilities description to ensure that we've got traceability to any changes made to the vulnerabilities discovered. So the description here has been prepended with a re-rated tag uh, and an explanation of this was actually originally marked as a critical severity vulnerability, but it met the criteria as defined by this project. The calculated base score for the CVE as provided the, the vector, the NVD vector was only 9.8, and therefore this has been re-rated down from critical to high. So again, the net here is that you can modify what dependency scanning provides and assigns based on our advisory database as the criticality for any given vulnerability. Um, again, what this allows you to do is to focus your triage on perhaps a smaller set of critical vulnerabilities. 
this could be handy again if you're resource constrained or if you're just trying to kind of up your security um, hygiene and discipline, but you don't want to slow down the pace of work. I hope that helped. Thank you so much for the time.